world television every week. And that means more bright ideas than you can shake a stick at. So if you think live TV is just for the boys, Good afternoon, you're watching live at Birmingham. I'm Anj Mukherjee. I'm Tony Butler. Coming up in the programme today, City Star reveals the very best ways of keeping your home and garden spotlessly clean. And we take a look at some rarely seen artwork, which is currently on display in the City's Museum and Art Gallery. But first of all, on the eve of a new football season, here's Tony with all the latest sports news. Well, thanks very much, Anj. And with a big kick-off just hours away, we've been talking to the managers. A Villa, Blues and the Baggies. And we kick off with Villa off to Newcastle. But there's no easy games in any league anymore. Michael Wadock spoke to manager John Gregory. John Gregory claims both he and his players are more confident and playing better than they were this time last year. Well, what about the Albion? New Bros. Brown Little won't name his team until just before the kickoff. But it'll be an interesting time for the Baggies' new man. I spoke to him just a few hours ago. Good to see you back on the patch again. <laughs> yes, Tom. Well, we wish him well, of course. Blues at home to newly promoted Fulham, and that sounds like an absolute cracker. Michael's been talking to manager Trevor Francis. It's the pick of the first day matches. Trevor Francis is Birmingham City, who so narrowly missed out on the playoff final again. Second operation on his groin. Well, you've heard the managers tonight. Butler's Sports Special 7.30 kick-off. Your forecasts on your team's big game. Villa at Newcastle. The Baggies against Norwich. Blues at home to Fulham. Wolves at Manchester City. And Walsall against Swindon. Just how good are you, right, against Butler and our football expert, Ian Johnson? 0-1-2-1-2-3-4-5-1-5-1 is the number to ring. That'll get you to us. And remember... Your forecasts, right? We haven't got a lot of team news for you, but we want to hear from you. OK, 7.30 kickoff. Time now for my sporting comment. The message is very simple. A big kickoff is tomorrow. Wolves, of course, at Man City on Sunday. Get behind your team and support them. Give them as much backing as you possibly can. And let's hope that this is the season for success on our patch. Promotions and cups as well. Maybe I'm asking a lot, but with your help, you can do it. OK? So we'll be there, you'll be there, and support your team. OK? Oj. Plenty more to come in the second half of the programme, including arts news and all the latest from the City Star team. Join us after the break. prices. This three-in-one pushchair on a spring chassis, including bag and rain cover, $99.99. Welcome back. You're watching live at Birmingham. Now, over the past few weeks, we've been taking a look at the diverse range of collections from across the art world on offer in Brum, from contemporary watercolours to photographic displays. Today, we take a trip back in time as we visit Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery and examine the arts and crafts of an ancient civilization. 
Welcome to the world of the Incas. Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery is offering a rare glimpse this summer into the work of the people of ancient Peru. The exhibition features a whole host of textiles and ceramics dating right back to 200 BC. Most of the artifacts here have never been on display before. The exhibition is arranged to show a selection of plants, animals, things like that from Peru, which they modelled very, very accurately in their pottery and which form motifs on their textiles. And there's then a section on the mythology which really shows how these animals sort of came into their beliefs and were incorporated in their mythology, their tales and One of the classic ways of recognising a mochi god is to listen to the museum and gallery is free and the World of the Incas exhibition runs until the end of the month. Now from thousands of years ago we come right back to the present day to find out what Helen Cole and the City Style team have been up to. Today it's all very modern and high tech as we check out the latest in specialist cleaning equipment guaranteed to get your home and garden spotless. City style in association with Redcroft DIY of Castle Bromwich. Hello and welcome to City Style. On this week's programme we're looking at cleaning methods in the home and in the garden. We're looking at brick patios, slab patios, carpets, rugs, anything in the home or garden. Joining me now here is Martin Stokes, a cleaning specialist. Martin, what's all this about? Basically this is a high pressure jet wash which actually cleans black paving slabs and also uh, patio slabs as well. It's a, a machine which basically removes all the dirt and the algae, which helps give you a nice finish on your patio. If you've got a nice garden, you want it to look nice and clean, especially if you, if you have barbecues or garden parties, as you do during the summer, it gives it a nice finish. And is it ex an expensive task? No, no, not really. Uh, it's mainly, obviously there's a price for the cleaning agent and a labour charge, but then it's a case of how long it will take. An area like this size would probably cost around about 35 to 40 pounds, depending on uh, obviously how long it takes me and obviously how dirty it is. So anything ranging up from £40 onwards to get your uh, block paving looking like brand new again. First of all, Martin applies the foam. Fortunately, this is a chemical treatment that's child, animal and plant safe. Next, Martin uses a high-pressured water jet, which is useful for clearing away those nasty weeds down the sides of paving blocks and age-old grime. And there you have it, a clean and safe and almost good as new patio. Now that we've looked at patio cleaning on block paving, let's look at slab paving. Once again, the foam is applied to all areas of the slab patio. Then it's left to thoroughly soak in. Before being rinsed off again by the powerful water jet. Oh. 
Martin, I am really impressed with this because you can see you've got the clean side of the slab and the dirty side of the slab. Now, I also noticed whilst you were cleaning it, um, it wasn't just the face of the slab you were cleaning, it was other parts as well. That's right, it's actually between the edges of the slabs, obviously where the weeds start to form through. So it is not just the face of the slab like you mentioned, it is in between the cracks where obviously the weeds are and they just blast out. So obviously you get, get a nice finish. Brilliant. Now we've, uh, we've finished with our patio cleaning and our outdoor cleaning, now we're going to head indoors for some Indian and Chinese rug cleaning and also some draped upholstery. Now that we've come indoors, Martin's going to show us how to clean some Draylon upholstery. Martin, people don't actually realise that they can get their suites, uh, rugs, carpets clean, do they? No, not a lot of people don't. They think once they're badly stained or the, they start wearing, they think that's the end of it. But um, a hot extraction water method for cleaning uh, Indian rugs, Chinese rugs and carpets uh, just gives the carpet a new lease of life and it saves, obviously, you going out to the shops and buying a new one. OK, so what would you do, what would you start by doing if you were to clean a suite? Well, basically, first, I would take all the cushions off. I would uh, vacuum clean the base and, and the cushions. Then any marks which do need treating before I clean, I pre-treat those. Uh, then what I do, it's a fibre shampoo mixture which is made up and that's applied by sponge, by hand. And that is, is worked into the fibres of the upholstery. And any marks which are still stubborn, I, I use a gentle scrubbing motion to obviously bring the marks out. Is this the actual machine you would use? This is the one, yes. This is what I um, clean up, uh, extract the upholstery, obviously the dirt with. And it, obviously the dirt flies up there, obviously into the dirty water tank and that then is chucked out. Okay, and Indian and Chinese rugs, you clean them in a different way to you clean the sweets? Yes, that's right. Uh, Indian and Chinese rugs are cleaned separately to sweet cleaning. They're all clean with the machine. Uh, you cannot clean an Indian rug with what I've cleaned a carpet with, because if you do, the colours bleed into each other and you bring your rug. I'd say that was a clean result. Look how the colours are brought out and it suddenly shines. That's it from this week's City Style, but now we've shown you how to make your home and garden sparkle, there's no excuse for those weeds, dirt and grime. City Style in association with Redcroft DIY of Castle Bromwich. Well, that's just about it from us. But don't forget, most people's minds will be on the football season or on the brink of it now, Tone. The big kickoff, of course, tomorrow. Wolves play on Sunday. And don't forget the number if you want to put your forecasts in. Butler and Ian Johnson, our football expert, are one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, five, one. That'll get you to us. And we can't wait. That's for sure. And Come who on. are you going to support this season, Tony? I'll be You're going to give it away them all. finally. All. Of supporting course. all our teams. <laughs> be right, right behind them. Well okay, done. that's all for now. <laughs> Has visitation. They have a written agreement between.